Yo, what's up YouTube? It's One Pump Willie, and today we're bringing you a game from our 300 plus win streak on Sadako, which is currently under route. Um, this team of survivors tried to stream snipe us in our 302nd game, and they brought everything under the sun to try and counter us. They brought four Azarov's keys to counter our sacrificial ward. They brought four med kits. Um, Two rangers, two emergencies, completely um, loaded out, filled out, decked out with charges and, and healing speed to try and counter our ring drawing add-on. They also had two for the peoples to counter whenever somebody got morried or condemned, they would be able to just pick them off of the ground. Um, they also had two unbreakables, they had four sprint bursts to try and sprint away from our condemn range. They had proved thyself, they had two blast mines in order to try and counter our gin kick build and it was quite apparent that they were trying to stream snipe us and this is how that game went all right so since i was heavily focused on not trying to lose this game i didn't really commentate much during the stream so i'm going to try and do my best to give a sight into what i was thinking about um currently we have a discordance uh, i'm just now realizing that pretty much everybody on the team has sprint burst uh luckily for us this is a double window tile where there's no pallet so we get the free hit. Notice that Nia has a med kit so we let her go and consume her charges. We just have to burn through those med kit charges. We give a kick to apply all of our gen perks to that one gen that we noticed and we teleport after seeing Claude. At this point we kick another gen. We notice that Nia has picked up a tape in the back. We see uh, Nia or rather Claude right in front of us right here so we teleport to build another quick condemn stack and since uh, we don't necessarily have anything else to do, we do a window manifest mind game where we pretend to go to one side and then while we're invisible we double back. She also gives us this pallet for free right here which is pretty nice. Um, at this point I do notice that Nia is off in the distance to the right. She's picked up the tape over there. Um, but that gen is pretty far from our entire gen structure, so that's not that, that valuable of a gen to defend. Also, if she's working on that gen with a tape in hand, since she hasn't deposited yet, it means that she's building condemn over time. So we still gain something from the trade of letting her work on that gen in the background. Uh, we notice tap right there is heavily pressuring this gen. Um, so we're just going to check our other gens real quick and try and zone him away while our overcharge and call of Brian goes to work on bringing this gen back down and we're just trying to bait him into a easy hit. We notice that he is within range of this TV, so that's the stack of Condemn. It also hits Claude as well, so we get out their sprint burst. For some reason, they insta-drop this pallet, which is great. That's a really strong pallet. Um, as soon as Nia pops that gen, we teleport to try and find her. At this point, she has a lot of Condemn from holding onto this tape for such a long time. So this is really, really big for us. We are able to find her at this TV trying to put up her tape after greeting that gen with the tape in hand which is basically going to give us a free down here. Even though she gets the tape off, she still has um, at least one to two stacks of Condemn built up. She only put away three. We get a nice eruption as well. That is a really critical eruption, um, and that's why we kicked all of those gins. Since uh, the three gins on the left pop, and we haven't checked this hill gin in our in our gin structure, that's why we teleport over to the hill gin. Also, I think I noticed somebody running over in that direction, so we get another stack of Condemn. Uh, whenever we're teleporting here, again, we get another stack on the Claude. We always want to be sure that when we're teleporting, it's a purposeful teleport. Um, we're either accomplishing gaining stacks of Condemn, or we're closing the distance, um, trying to defend a generator that's about to pop. Here we find Tap, who just pre-drops, and so we get rid of that pallet. Chiseling away at resources is really important, especially when they have Sprint Burst. Um, since they threw that pallet earlier, again, chiseling, chiseling away resources is really important. She can't make it to this shack pallet. I was considering demanifesting and remanifesting to reset our TVs, but if we did that, we would be slowed down. So I just went for the hit onto Claude there. We notice the tap is still pressuring this gin. Give it a kick. Since all of those gins erupted, we need to re-kick them and apply all of our uh, perks, is specifically Eruption for later whenever we get it down. They are doing a really good job healing up and not giving too many free things right here with these med kits. They are trying to play it very safe. As you can see, Shack Pallet just gets dropped immediately, which I, I actually kind of enjoy. I think they could have greeted a little bit heavier here, especially with the ability to reset so quickly with these potent med kits. Um, after we get the hit, we go back and check on 
this gin always always we want to do a, a hit and run type style we don't necessarily want to overcommit to anything we just try and build uh, little chunks of pressure here and there apply eruption to all of our gins we can see that most of our gins have now um, the seed of eruption on them we notice that that gin is hit with call of brine but we haven't got a hit and reset um, our tvs with our eerie videotape in a while so that's why we're focusing this claude she has a nice double vault right there 99 her sprint burst as well so that does not look too good for us we're going to demanifest and teleport away at this point we wasted too much time chasing claude they do get to pop that gen in the back but that's okay we still have our primary gen cluster over here we notice that she is within range of the tv on the hill running to yet another tv so this is a quick double stack onto claude but she does a good job of um avoiding the second stack of condemn also, we see somebody running out here. That's an easy, easy double stack. Tap is also on that gen that he's been trying to work on. This gen is about to pop. We kind of want to defend it, but it's not necessarily that crucial of a gen. Um, if we can delay it for a little bit and get some condemn and maybe some free hits um, before that gen pops, it would be really nice. Here, Tap uses his sprint burst again. And I noticed that they picked up a tape over here. Now that we have um, been in the game for quite some time and we've been building Condemn consistently on the entire team, we can't just let them do tapes for free. So since I noticed that they picked up a tape over there, we're going to do a mind game vault into Shaq. Nia has her sprint burst down. Nia with a tape in her hand. This is a very vulnerable target. She's also going to try and deposit it right here, but we're able to de-manifest in time as the TV comes back online and get a quick double stack. Which So this is a very, very strong uh, point for us. We hit the other Nia that does not have the heartbeat. We do get a condemn uh, red ring of death onto this Nia here. The scratch marks appeared like they were going to this tile. I didn't catch that she ran out to the right, um, but her pathing was very solid. Um, she would have probably been able to waste our time since we hadn't chased in that back part of the map um, since we've been defending our solid gen structure. So since this gen's about to pop, we go for the guaranteed pressure and we zone tap away, build a uh, stack of condemn on him, or rather kick the gin. I thought I was going to teleport there. I guess we didn't. Um, yes, here's tap. We're going to zone him out. We need to reset our TVs. At this point, Nia, the max condemn Nia, has healed up. Um, so we're trying to reset her TV to teleport to. We Tap did a good job of delaying us and wasting our time. We are able to teleport to him, and just as we de-manifest, we notice Nia trying to put up her tape. She is able to put it up. That is one weakness of Sadako, is that when you're in the middle of either a gen kick animation, or a hit animation, or a teleport animation, um, or if you need to still de-manifest, that is a vulnerable point when survivors can put up their tapes. And the same goes for hooking, so that's also a, a, another reason why we don't hook as much. Um, we also just build a lot of pressure with ring drawing, etc. Here we get a free hit on the Nia. Notice that Call of Brian has gone off and they're back on that gin. We do need to reset our TVs. There are a lot of TVs down in our three gin here, which is kind of concerning. Luckily, Tap is being a little greedy here, and he doesn't have his Sprint Burst back yet, so we will be able to reset our TVs with that hit. And at the last second, we noticed Nia was picking up a tape right there. We didn't de-manifest and teleport in time, which is okay, though. Uh, so she, she does have a tape in her hand, which we can pressure out. Give her a little smacky. And here I think she makes the mistake of going directly to her TV, panicking, since she's very, very high condemn. I think she should have pathed uh, to a safe resource or something like that, because here we're also able to teleport and get a double stack. Tap is also worried about keeping her alive, so he gives us a free hit, which lets us reset our TVs as well. At this point, another Nia has a tape in her hands too, building a condemn with a stack right here. People... For the people as active. People, people, people. Lots of condemn on the people, dude. Nia, max condemn, running to try and put up her tape. She did a little spin right there because she thought I was going to teleport and early. She wanted to double back, but we waited it out, knowing that she wouldn't have enough time to put up her tape, and that is going to be the first kill. Also, we get a heartbeat on the tap. This is where the team starts to fall apart. Claude demoralized. 
DCs here. And now it's just a matter of hunting down Detective Tap. Uh, Nia does try and come in here to take a hit for him. And does a pretty good job, actually. A pretty good job of being able to delay those these hits. Here we de-manifest and walk to the left side. As we turn invisible, we go to the right to try and mind game over that window gap. Nia picks herself up with Unbreakable. Um, and again, tries to take some hits for Detective Tap. But it's a little bit too late. Uh, she's doing a great job, though. I'll, I'll give her some credit. She's doing a great job of, of being able to, to block this. Um, Unfortunately for them, we are able to just de-manifest and, and phase through the body block. And when he's locked in that window vault animation, we are able to down him. Uh, since they stream sniped us, I really wanted to get the 4K, so I wasn't about to Mori Detective Tap and give her an option for hatch. Uh, here we're chasing down Nia, trying to secure the 4K. We can Mori Tap whenever we want. Um, she hops into a locker though to waste our time. And at this point, Detective Tap uses Unbreakable to get himself up. That's both their unbreakables. And so now we, we have to go chase him back down again. They tried. He thinks that he has enough time, but that 10, 10 to 12 meters away is not enough distance to put up your tape, especially if the TV's online. We can just teleport and cancel that uh, tape deposit animation. Here he's got some good window games. Gets a nice little fast vault. And then a double vault. I should not have swung at that fast vault. I think the double vault is coming right here. Oh, there's a slow vault. Nice. There's the double vault. At this point, he's basically exhausted those windows and there's no pallets nearby. We get a quick little whiff in. He points at us and we get the goop, dude. And now it's just a matter of hooking Nia. Oh, I hope you guys enjoyed this game. I hope you learned some things along the way. And we are going to be continuing. Uh, we're currently at a 310 wins in a row on her. We are going to be continuing this win streak over on Twitch. Um, basically as soon as I upload this video. So thanks for hanging out. I hope you guys had a great time as usual and i'll see you guys very soon i was zoned in that game dude i was zoned in that game that is a gg well played